All right, Maximus Analysis here on July 22nd, 2015, and we see the ES gave a choppy indecision day. Uh, still uh, needed to clear this 2130 with some volume or 2120 with some huge volume, uh, but haven't seen that as yet. Again, we're in overbought territory and we're back in the chop. Again, the chop, you guys, if you're watching the channel, this blue region is the chop and we're still in it. So we don't want to go ballistic again, especially with what happened um, with the NQ overnight. Uh, again, it made up some ground, but a lot of the, the big names look like they just need to retrace. Now, the retrace needs to be looked at the big picture of the NQ to say, okay, how much more would this pull this down if they just get the retrace that they're looking for? So uh, if we look at the NQ, we can see that we're, <clears throat> again, we're actually doing pretty well, uh, pretty well in it. Laying above this again, small indecision day, not that bad regarding the NQ. YM, again, now that Apple's in that, uh, we need to see what's going on because if this is this is not a good, it's just not a good pattern right now. Again, you could say if you're really reaching, uh, you might say, okay, higher low potentially from this low, but it's still just this, man. Again, it's just back to this crap and Again, we just want to see what it does Again, it's in the middle of it okay so if you don't believe me let's take the midpoint and just look at it is in the middle of the range and we've been in the middle of the range so you could extend this out here and you can see that we've had we've been I mean it's, it's just range bound so it's, it's just very rough and if I take it without including this breakout point here uh, you see we're in the middle of the range so don't just commit blindly again there's been some beautiful moves that maybe i have not, well not maybe i haven't taken uh into uh, uh advantage of because i wasn't looking at swing trades i was looking more at, at day trading which has been paying well but with that being said we have to look and say what apple is now apple is so range bound okay and this is something to take into consideration that it gapped down almost what seven percent and it's still in the range. Like, look, it's still in the range. It's at the bottom of the range. That's how range bound has been since last February. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to commit some money to it. Because again, let's say they come up and they fail. Again, this is high volume right here, but usually high volumes at the beginning or the end of a trend. If they come and they give you a couple days of lighter volume and they don't get past this 130, that is short in a short opportunity with limited risk because again this is all people that got in and kind of just covered so you're going to get the short bounce uh here because people are just covering so you know they're covering their shorts so it's, it's not actually buying uh people saying i'm loading up the boat because it's getting back to its range it's range bound but if it comes up and this volume declines which it's very high if you look at historically this is pretty high point look at what's going on right here so let's say we take this and you do some volume analysis here's you know the line in the sand to kind of show you okay there you go how high that volume is on the gap down so it would probably be less volume going up tomorrow again uh, we'll see how this one plays out google again gave a lot of the stuff back so again you can look and see a lot of people this was up 12 dollars a lot of chasers Again, people tell you they make money. If you're not scaling within seconds, you're, you're not going to make And plus, I'm not playing that game. So let's look at the intraday for Google. And you can see how, uh, let's use a smaller time frame. Let's do like a five minute or something. And you can see how it came up and it gapped out and broke below and closed basically at the low. That's showing weakness. So again, you might see some people, it's in very overbought territory, up 30% from these lows. You might see a pull back down so don't be alarmed and again people that chase have to get you know you just got paid of course you have netflix still looking okay uh actually really good uh for the bull side there's nothing here saying that again people might look at that gap and say it might get filled well i don't know when it's going to get filled uh you got amazon looking okay again it gave a small buy signal but again that's just a one par bar pullback off there so i i, I wouldn't play it. i would just wait for a better retracement but again, uh, looking at the overall markets, you can see, well, let's look at a crude. crude. Crude continued its downtrend, and it is gonna, it's already broken 49. I mean, it was a huge sell-off into the close, which looks great. And now there's nothing, it's air. 
it is broken below there so it is air so now when i kept saying these that it's 47 44 and basically almost 38 to 33 i hope that you guys understand i'm just trading the trend it's not personal i don't see why people take this shit so personally but again you got the bonds they're, they're slowly bouncing up but still looks like it's in a downtrend you got the dollar uh, which probably give a little <clears throat> still holding its bull pivots right here and you also have gold uh, again it's in a downtrend so i'm not adding to a downtrending stock unless i just cannot admit that i am wrong okay and if you are adding to a position like this when is your pain when is your maximum pain and regarding not your maximum pain regarding your count blow the hell up it's your maximum pain regarding your price and then if you look and if it gets to that price how much percentage is it of your account that you will lose now if you say listen i'm i'm gonna trade this and i'm gonna i'll let it get to shit. i'll let it get to ten dollars how much of your account do you lose if you if you if you let it get to ten dollars one percent two percent ten percent twenty percent if it's if it's double digits let it go dude just get on the other side of the trade understand what the trend is and wait for it to give you a significant pop everybody looking to catch the bottom and it just hasn't given because there's people still short from this low 16 bucks is down two dollars people still short from this this low 17 bucks this low 1825 don't be that guy that has to be right there is no ego in this game when you're wrong you say that you're wrong so let's see what happens tomorrow again the dial should have been a little, a little bit worse today but they actually held it up with goldman which is weighted very heavily and they held it up with nike okay and they also had to think uh, home depot was up a little bit but there wasn't many down names that were up so again when they pull back uh we'll see how how things go because remember that they weight these things differently there's only 30 names but goldman sachs apple and bowen can be up a dollar and the dial be up a hundred just think of that take care